Hello, my name's Harriet. Um, I think some of you will be my students and I thought I'd make some YouTube videos just to show you some of the basics of what we'll be doing. So the first thing I'm going to show you is wedging. So I've got a piece of clay here. It's um, a, a, a good double handful, which would make a something like a breakfast bowl. Or a, um, it would be too large for a mug. Um, and I'm going to show you how to wedge. This is called bull's head wedging. And I'll show you why. You want a wedging surface that is plaster or um, a board, something the clay doesn't stick to. So anything that's plasticised isn't going to work, but wood is fine. And you want it a, a little bit below hip height. So I'm standing on a piece of wood to make myself the right height for this. You, you pat the clay into a, a ball or an oval shape like this and you put your hands either side of it and you press down lightly. So I'm using my weight rather than really using my elbows and that just saves your wrists. Pull it back and press down lightly again. Now if I press down hard like this, what happens is when I fold it over I'm getting air trapped in the clay and that's what you don't want. Wedging has a couple of purposes. One is to get air out of the clay, make sure there's no little air bubbles in there because they can um, burst when the clay is fired and cause your piece to crack apart. And the other reason is to warm the clay up. So the scientific version of this says you're getting all the little clay platelets to align so they're all flat against each other which makes them much more workable. And the less scientific version is that the clay needs to lose its sense of shape that it's had while it's sitting in the bag and become plastic and malleable and more obedient. So you do this about 50 times, which sounds like a lot, but actually, as you can see, it goes quite fast. The reason it's called bull's head wedging is that when you pick it up, it looks a little bit like a bull's head. There's two eyes and a wrinkly nose. So when you get that shape, you know you're going right. So you can see all the time my palms stay on either side to stop it getting wider and wider. And I just push down lightly, pull it back and turn it a little, push down, pull back and turn, and that's it. So once you've got the bull's head shape and you've done your 50 turns, um, you want to make it into a more oval shape. So the next couple of turns just can press it down until you've got this sort of shape and then you just pat it to smooth it out. Pat it on the top, tap it on the bottom. So you need to try and remember which is the top and the bottom. It helps it go more smoothly. And you just make an egg shape like that. It doesn't have to be perfect.